is this the go? Yeah, the go in my mouth. <laughs> What's on the diet plate? Uh, cottage cheese and peaches. Well, slide them off and put on a cheeseburger and fish fries. <laughs> What's happening is the weekend is almost here, and I have a very big date with Cindy. All right. <laughs> oh, come on, Raj. You'll never get anywhere with Cindy. The last time you took her to the drive-in, you couldn't even get her to take off her seatbelt. <laughs> That's past history, Rira. I was a high school kid then. Now I'm a college man with a new analytical approach that can't fail. What's that? <laughs> Dwayne, my man, I have finally perfected the Thomas technique. It makes me irresistible to women. The Thomas technique? That's right. First, there is the music. Then, the candlelight. Then, the wine and the roses. Oh, wait a minute, go slow. I want to remember this. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> wine and the roses. Then, with the mellow sounds of Barry White. Come on, baby. <laughs> mm. Right on, right on. <gasps> right on, right on. <sighs> I move her over to the couch where we get more comfortable. Oh, yeah, more comfortable. Uh-oh. I offer her some wine. Dim the light. Propose a toast. All right. Perhaps a bit of romantic poetry. How do I love thee? Let me count the way. Count? Does this involve math? <laughs> okay, then, then I turn the conversation around to her. I compliment her on her shapely legs. Her trim, her trim ankles and her small little feet. Do you have anything in a tan loafer? Shirley, this is really serious now. Oh, excuse me. Hey, I guarantee you, by this time, she'll be putty in my hands. Yeah, you are silly putty. <laughs> Believe me, Saturday cannot miss. Saturday? Raj, I have a date with April Saturday night. April? Yeah, April Dawn, an actress I met while I was working as an usher on that new soap opera, The Young and the Thoughtless. <laughs> We're supposed to have an intimate dinner for two Saturday night. Well, you still can, here at Rob's place. No way. Rerun, I've got to have the apartment. I mean, this is it. How can you tell that this is it? Rerun, where women are concerned, I have a sixth sense. Oh, well, Dee, what are you doing here? Now, we're trying to have an adult conversation. Well, keep trying. You're only five years away. <laughs> oh, uh, April, April, I was just thinking about you. Hi, Rerun. I missed you at the studio. April, I want you to meet some friends of mine. This is Dee and Roger Thomas and Dwayne Nelson. Hello. Hello. Haven't we met before? I mean, you look very familiar. Oh. Well, you've probably seen me on that pantyhose commercial on TV. You know, the one with all the dancing legs. My legs are third and fourth from the left. Or are they fifth? and six. No, those are the third and the fourth. <laughs> well, all right, you all gonna order anything. I played a waitress once. It was last season on Kojak. I took Telly Savalas's order. I use the method. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I use the pad and the pencil. <laughs> Call me when you're ready to order. <laughs> v run I just dropped by to tell you that it will have to be a late date Saturday night. I have a meeting at the Actors Guild. <laughs> will 10 o'clock be all right, v run Well, okay. Huh, good. Well, I must 
run along now. It was very nice meeting you all. Ciao. Ciao? I thought you weren't hungry. <laughs> Dear child. <laughs> Dear Chow. Don't you know what chow means? It's a dog food, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Chow means goodbye in stuck-up land. <laughs> hey, well, if she can't make it to the apartment before 10, our problems are solved. I'll take it from 8 to 10, you can have it from 10 on. A two-hour date? That's not much time, Raj. Dwayne, with the Thomas technique, two hours is more than enough time. All right, Saturday night is gonna be the night of all nights. <laughs> oh, oh. Now, why are you ooing? Now, you don't even know what we're talking about. Yes, I do. You're talking about making out in the apartment. Ooh. <laughs> oh, April, 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 April. Some date. Oh, April, April, April. Oh, Rira, Rira, Rira. <laughs> come in, come in, come in, come in. Hey, 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 what's happening? Excuse me if I don't get up. My knees are still weak. <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, Dwayne, I didn't do so bad either. My lips are still numb. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, we kissed, we touched, we caressed, and then we reached that moment of truth. A moment of truth? <laughs> Dwayne, now you've kissed a girl, haven't you? Uh-huh. And you've touched a girl, haven't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> You've caressed a girl, haven't you? Uh-huh. Then you must have reached the moment of truth. Uh-uh. <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. All right, well, wait a minute. You guys tell me about it, and don't leave out any of the details. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. A gentleman, a true gentleman, a sensitive, mature man does not discuss the private, intimate details of his love life. Struck out, huh? <laughs> she was all over me the minute she hit the door. She was wearing a tight blue sweater and a long, slinky skirt. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> the romantic atmosphere of our apartment got to her the second she walked in the door. What a dump. <laughs> what it needs is a woman's touch. She couldn't keep her hands off me. I fell for her right away. <laughs> she was impressed with my mini showbiz connections. Are you really Stevie Wonder's second cousin? Yeah, and my first cousin is Richard Pryor. <laughs> but she wasn't interested in all that. She just wanted me for myself. I want you to introduce me to Stevie and Richard. We can talk about that later. I hate to mix business and pleasure. So let's get down to business. <laughs> You're right. I'm glad you reminded me. I have to read tomorrow, and I need your help. You want me to teach you to read? <laughs> no, I'm reading for a part, and I want to rehearse a few little lines. <gasps> Anthony and Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. I play Cleopatra. This could take all night. Why don't we just skip lights and camera and go right to action? <laughs> and then it happened. She stood up and said those three words that every man wants to hear. 
I'm going home. <laughs> she called me her Anthony and said she was my Cleopatra. Wow, what does that mean? I guess she never read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, Rerun. For a first date. Wow, Rod, you mean you had even better time than Rerun? Are you kidding? Comparing me to Rerun is like comparing Billy D. Williams to a bowl of warm jello. <laughs> All right, Raj, let's hear it, man. All right. I don't like to brag, but the Thomas technique could be the greatest thing for romance since the drive-in movie. Okay. <laughs> I immediately set the atmosphere with the proper lighting. It's just the time is so short, and you are so beautiful. When I offered her a rose as a token of my affection, she couldn't contain herself. Her reaction was explosive. I poured the wine, not just any wine, but an experience for the palate, an ambrosia, an elixir of the gods. A little granny green filled crab apple rose. <laughs> the wine did something to her. Wine makes me throw up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Cindy, why waste precious time? Now, I'm a man in love, and you are a woman. We both want the same thing. Marriage! Perhaps we don't want the same thing. Oh, Roger. When you said you had something special planned for tonight, I had no idea it would be a proposal. Neither did I. Oh, Roger. Just think a cozy cottage, a fireplace, and just the eight of us. Eight of us? Well, yes, dear. I want five children. That's seven. And a maid. That's eight. <laughs> Cindy, 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 I'm not ready for this. Where are you going? <laughs> not me. Uh-oh. <laughs> but didn't you just say you loved me? Absolutely, but that was moments ago before I realized I was a liar. <laughs> Like I said, it was an evening to remember. The Thomas technique worked to perfection. Wow, did you hear that, Rerun? That may have worked with Cindy, but April prefers a more earthy approach. Yeah, women like the earthy type. Oh, then why was she looking me over in the soda shop? Evidently, she likes intellectuals. Yeah, women do like the intellectual type. Hmm. Fool, you couldn't get the first base with April. <laughs> Well, you couldn't even get in a game with Cindy. In fact, you couldn't fit in the stadium. Fit in the stadium? <laughs> <Good one. laughs> well, you could fit in all right if they needed an extra flagpole. <laughs> I bet I could score more points with April than you ever did. <laughs> and I bet I can score more points with Cindy than you did. Bet. April will throw herself at me. And Cindy will throw herself at me. I wish somebody would throw themselves at me. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Ah, uh, the Thomas technique. Let me see if I have it down. Wine. <laughs> candlelight. Roses, roses, roses. Rose. 
and some mood music. Yes, yeah, right, music, music. Cindy, come on in. Hello, Rerun. Wow. I'm so glad we have some time together. I want to get to know you, and I want to hear all about you. Well, there really isn't much to tell. I go to LACC, and I'm studying political science. Oh, I'm really into politics. Tell me, what do you think of Bert Vance? That's Lance. <laughs> Lance Vance? No, Bert Lance or Cyrus Vance. Then who is Lance Vance? No one. No one rerun is Lance Vance. Poor, poor Lance Vance. <laughs> oh, rerun, you're so funny. Raj told me all about you. Lies. Oh, lies. <laughs> it was all good. Oh, that's good old honest Raj for you. <laughs> that's what we call him around here. You know, he never tells a lie. <laughs> ah, and now for some wine. Not just any wine, but an experience for the palate. An elixir of the gods. An ambrosia. And it's a real good drink, too. One man, one country. Your wine, my wine. May I? It's a twist cap. <laughs> well, ordinarily, I don't drink wine, but uh, that does look tempting. What year is it? Ah. Uh, it's, it's 1978. It says, do not sell after August 31st. Uh, have a seat, my dear. And as they do on the Riviera. Oh, no. It's happening. Yes, I know. It's me. It's you. It's... <laughs> supposed to happen? Don't you want to slip into something more comfortable? Yes. The elevator. <laughs> if it be love indeed, tell me how much. Uh, there's beggary in the love that can be reckoned. I'll sit a bone, how far to be beloved. Then must thou find a new heaven and a new earth. <sighs> Roger, I think that's enough rehearsing. Let's start performing. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I may as well face it, Dwayne. I can't compete with Raj. He has everything. Brains, looks, personality. Maybe I should get myself a new roommate. A real loser like myself. Yeah. Do you think there's any room in San Clemente? <laughs> hey, man, come on. You're coming down too hard on yourself. Yeah, but I got nowhere with Cindy. And Raj not only got everywhere with her, he also did great with April. Well, how can you be so sure? Well, he didn't take her out to dinner, and he didn't take her to a movie, and he didn't buy her a present. Yeah. So why did she send him a thank you note? Oh. All right, so he's a winner and you're a loser. Does that mean he's a winner and you're a loser? <laughs> yeah. Here comes Roz now. Don't tell him I struck out with Cindy, OK? OK. Hey, hey Dwayne. Rira, hey, hey, what's happening? OK. Oh, now that's what I call service. Grape sodas all around. Well, what are you so cheerful about? Oh, you know how it is. Some of us have it and some of us don't have it. Well, keep it off the chairs. <laughs> Her hostility is probably just the result of the repressed passion she feels for me. <laughs> for me to repress your head into your neck. <laughs> and get your feet off my chair. Excuse me, I have to cancel that grape soda. Rerun canceling food. 
What's wrong with them? Uh, indigestion. <laughs> indigestion? Rerun? The man who can eat peanut butter and tuna fish pudding? <laughs> now, come on, Dwayne. What's bothering him? You, Raj. See, man, he can't compete with you. He's not like you. I mean, he doesn't really have a technique, and, well, he didn't do that great with Cindy or April, even though you got everywhere with both of them. He's hurting, Raj. Well, I guess you and April really hit it off, huh? Oh, yeah, that April is a great girl. Oh, I might as well tell you the truth. I struck out. I'm just not the ladies' man you are. You're not? Oh, the truth is, I struck out with Cindy, too. And all April did was talk about you. Really? She's crazy about you. She thinks you're magnificent. Really? <laughs> sure. She told me herself. There's nobody who can compare with you. Oh, I wouldn't say nobody. There's Rudolph Valentino, Don Juan, Bossa Nova. Me, Rob. I struck out too, Raj. You struck out? Yeah, I guess we're both a couple of losers. Hey, we're not losers. It was just the wrong girls at the wrong place and at the wrong time. Ooh, look, look. Mm, mm, mm. And we're gonna prove it. Now, we're gonna go over there and meet those girls. Mm. Come on, Dwayne. Me? Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no. Wrong girls. Wrong place. Wrong time. <laughs> You know, Rerun, I think our approach was all wrong. We shouldn't treat women any differently from anyone else. So from now on, we're going to be open, honest, and please, no more phony stories. Right on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. I just want to thank you for letting me use the apartment last night for my day. Oh, yeah. How did it go? Oh, sensational, man. The night to end all nights. I had all the moves down. Really? It was the most passionate love scene you'll ever see. Need I say more? Yeah. <laughs> All right, it was about 11 o'clock, uh -huh. and there I was. Uh -huh. And now the late show. Burt Lancaster and Deborah Carr starring in From Here to Eternity. Stay tuned for the most passionate love scene you'll ever see. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs>